Welcome back, folks. Welcome back. We're gonna watch another video from Aaron Cairo. <gasps> Oof. Sorry, I had a big old breakfast and some coffee. You're not wearing no pants today, are you? Um, yeah, we're gonna watch another video about Aaron Cairo and what he would do if he first started skating all the way over from the beginning and how he's gonna make it sound fun. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button and let's watch Aaron Cairo who now can't get over 10k views on a video with millions of followers, but I forgot this fool had that Braille app. He still has a Braille app that people can pay for. You son of a gun. I told you them Scientologists were crazy. To start skateboarding completely from scratch, this is exactly what I would do. Okay, these are five steps that I'm gonna go through that's gonna help you progress in your skateboarding very, very fast. I'm personally not gonna go over the five steps to make you learn skateboarding really quick because skateboarding is not about learning things hella quick. It's about uh, actually learning them and taking your time to learn and uh feel how your body is in the movements you know what i'm saying yeah anybody can only in five seconds or five hours but uh can you ollie the next day or the next day or the next day or remember that you have to ollie over that crack so your body doesn't wreck itself when you're trying to do something off that ramp like learning things quickly is not the way but, uh, but yeah, I'm not watching all five. He made this a 15 minute video and we're not doing that. Okay, so the very first thing that I would do is I would set a schedule. This is very, very important. Now, before I even say this, I wanna emphasize skateboarding should be fun. That's gonna be a key emphasis of this whole video, in fact, but make sure you have fun. And I don't wanna have the idea of like, oh, I have to have a set schedule or a time when I'm going to practice. And this is the thing with Eric Cairo that I really get tired of. It's like. Why don't you set what you say or stand up on business? Like you just said, you gotta set a schedule. It's gonna make you skate better. But don't think of a schedule as not having fun, but you really must set a schedule. But like, you can't even make your freaking mind up about how you wanna freaking get the first step of being able to skate fast and be the fastest skater out here and learn the stuff. Not knowing it, but you're so fast. You learn skateboarding. Bam, three months, you're able to trade flip, hard flip, all this. Thanks to, you know, Scientology and skating fast. No, nigga, no. Or whatever you want to call it, take the fun out of it. So make sure that that doesn't happen. But it is very important that you set a schedule. I don't think that you have to skate for many hours every single day. 10 to 20 minutes a day would do it. But was literally treating us like we're dummies. <clears throat> literally like he's just going back to the way 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 back before he had the whole team of braille or way before that whole warehouse thing was and he's revamping it so i'm feeling like he just excommunicated everybody that's what the firing was for that's what the warehouse was for so yeah now nah, you guys can't come to the warehouse i have no reason to hit me up <clears throat> and then he just excommunicated everybody i think that's what happened so all across the board, he ain't even tripping now. He's trying to stay in the skateboard lane, and he's probably on some other part of the freaking Los Angeles or, or San Francisco, because I ain't seen him out here. But he's probably on some other whole other side of San Francisco nobody goes to, still so skateboarding. You got him a new Lance, you know, get him in a whole new team started. Instead of calling him Braille, watch, he's going to change the name off just a little bit. He's going to quit saying first try, it's just a little bit. Watch, watch. But I do think that it is very important for you to skate for a little bit amount of time every single day. And I'll tell you exactly why. So when you very first start skateboarding, you're building up muscle memory and you're getting your legs used to the board. You're getting the board feel. You're, you're learning how that board is gonna feel under your feet and act and operate in different situations, different positions, different body weights, moving different directions. And if you go every day, you're gonna really start to build up those muscle memory. It's gonna really start to go very, very fast. It's super key, super important, so. Unless I'm training for the Olympics where I'm in an organized sport where I know that I need to get better quicker, but know the basics and have the whole, foundation thing down yeah this program probably would work great but if you're just just getting into skateboarding 
No, don't set no freaking schedule. It's going to be on the feel of your body after you get up from skating a couple hours and feeling that, oh, I've never worked these muscles before. Or skating a couple hours and like, ooh, you know, the next day, I feel like jumping on the board again. Skateboarding is how it works with the your likes and dislikes. If you don't like skateboarding and you sit there and set a schedule, you're still going to not like skateboarding, but more frequently. Don't listen to these people or they're like, oh, just spend 10 minutes a day, make yourself do... No, don't make yourself do nothing. If you do not like skateboarding intrinsically, you're not going to be into it and you're not going to progress into it. Trust me, I've been teaching skateboarding and seeing this myself. You have to have a love and a passion for it. And it comes over time. Learning tricks is not the thing about skateboarding. Skateboarding is feeling comfortable on top of that board until the point to where you would want to do tricks because you've been so comfortable on the board. But anyway, we're not going to follow a Scientologist. Follow me on the journey of trying to vanquish this Scientologist and all his ideals and hopefully get that channel off of the map and increase the Mick Fish Sandwich Skate Show where we do learning, higher education, and understanding about all of these tricks and what skateboarding is and what it means to you. Make sure you like and subscribe on these videos so the algorithm know what's up and other people can get this information. And I'm gone. Watch one of my 2000 videos. I did a slappy tutorial, I do a lot of tutorials. It's pretty cool. Check them out. All right, check it out. Later. Bye.